Hey guys, it's the Penny Pitching Prepper, and today we're going to be doing the Extreme Fire Starter. <clears throat> so, if you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Um, and uh, if you don't, give me a thumbs down. I'm cool with that too. Whatever. Uh, so, without saying any more, uh, we're going to move on to doing this. So, what you're going to need... Alright, I already have mine ready to get started. But, you're going to need a pot. You're going to need two tin cans. Alright. In one of the tin cans... You're going to want to put beeswax, guys, all right? Really no other wax will do if you want to make it an extreme weather fire starter. Uh, you're going to need petroleum jelly, all right? You're going to need some tin foil, some sort of a pointy stick. I honestly recommend the... Uh, uh, bamboo bamboo skewers they're uh, extremely strong and don't bend and break very easy for this project all right and then you're going to need these little cotton rolls here all right and uh you can get these on amazon i, I said it in the last video um, I'm not going to put a link because you can get anywhere from 25 to 2,000. It depends on how many you want to get. I mean, honestly, I've done over 200. No, excuse me, over 400 now. Giving them out as gifts, all kinds of things. So, um, and then last but not least, parchment paper or wax paper wrapped around cardboard. I go with the parchment paper so you can tape it. <clears throat> and uh, keep it all smooth and tight. So, if you give me just one second, I'm going to pause this video real fast and give a, a slightly better angle so you can see what we're doing here a little bit better. Oh, um, so the beeswax goes in one, the petroleum jelly goes in another. Fill it up about yay far, you know, about, um, oh, somewhere right about here. Uh, with um, water and put it on about uh, uh, five or six and uh, let it melt down and then back it off to about three. You're going to really want to do this in your kitchen because you're going to want to keep the petroleum jelly and the beeswax as warm as possible for this project uh, without going too hot. So I, I found that three works best. So give me one second and I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. All right, guys. So for starters, get yourself a little pocket knife or big pocket knife, whatever you work best with. Take the skewer and go ahead and sharpen that edge up just a little bit. All right, so it's got a good point on it, but not so much that it gets weak. Okay. This is one of my older ones. I've actually already done it to it, so I'm not going to do it a whole lot. So, you get out your board, your parchment paper, right? Actually, I should put that in there. It's going to wash out what i got to show you first. All right. So what you want to do is take your cotton roll. All right. And you're going to work it into one side. And, and take your time with this. Twist. Go slow. Whatever it takes. All right. Get it in there. You know, so we're uh, roasting marshmallows, right? <clears throat> so... After that, you're going to take the petroleum jelly, all right? And let's see how good I can get this. All right, you're going to put that one in. 
and you're going to let it sit for a while. It's going to take a while for that to really penetrate through the, the layers of the cotton roll and absorb in there real good. And the more it absorbs, the longer the, uh, the fire starter will go, the fire tender will go. So don't be afraid to, to leave it in there for a minute, walk away, go do something else. Um, and, and this is also part of the reason why you want to keep it at that perfect temperature is uh, so that it's not so hot that it keeps this from doing its job, the, the beeswax, but you want it hot enough to where it, that's going to soak in real good. Now you can do them separate if you really want to take the time to do that because uh, there are steps in between everything where you, you could do it that way if you'd like. I've just always done it this way, so. All right, so now that it's it's been in there for a minute, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and take it out and kind of roll it back and forth a little bit, try to keep some of the bit of uh, petroleum jelly that's gonna drip off from dripping off because it's still gonna wanna absorb in there. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to place it on here and just kind of push it off, all right? Now be gentle when you push it off because it's preserving the hole that you've already made. So when you go to do this, uh, um, coat it with the beeswax, you won't have to rework it through. It, it won't take as long. It'll be much quicker. Um, I think I'm just repeating myself in different ways at this point. <laughs> So, and we'll move on to another one. I'm, I'm just going to show you a, a couple times and, and give you a couple examples. I have plenty of these I don't need to do anymore right now. Um, but you need to at least get an idea before I call it quits. And uh, get that on there. Once again, into your petroleum jelly and let it sit now it's really hard to see but if uh, you're standing over it and you got a good light like you're in the kitchen and you got your hood light on you're, you'll actually see that there's bubbles coming out of this and, and when the bubbles stop you give it another 10-15 seconds after the bubble stops and that should really be good um, or like I said, just walk away for a minute, you know, go do something else, go, uh, I don't know. Everybody's different. Me, I, I might, you know, go load a magazine. Uh, so, once that's done, once again, we're going to try to not let it drip off. I mean, some's going to drip off no matter what, but we're going to try to keep as much on there as we possibly can. All right. And, uh, and then we're just going to slightly push it off. All right. Now that you got an idea of how to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the freezer. All right, and you guys are probably thinking he's always putting his fire starters in the or in the freezer. Well, each one has a different reason why I do it. For this one, the colder this is when you put it in the beeswax, the more the beeswax is going to want to adhere to it. That way, you don't have to uh, dunk it as many times to get it to where it's uh, where it'll run between that 10 and 15 minutes of you know burn time uh, and that's that's what I'm trying to show you how to do is, is get it to where there's that 10 to 15 minutes most of them actually average somewhere about 12 minutes um, but I'm trying to get you that long burn time so Bear with me and uh, give me a second. I'm going to go pop these in the freezer so they get really cold. And I will be back with you guys in a moment. Alright guys, now that it's been in the freezer for about 20 minutes. 
And it's only going to take really that long the first time you put it in the freezer because you really want to get that that uh, petroleum jelly and core super cold. Alright, so twist it off with your fingers. Don't try to just pull it. Do a little twist first, alright? Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Alright, you see how it's got the little hole already in there? So that makes it super simple. So all you got to do is just push it in. Alright. Pedal. No fuss like the last time, alright. Now all you're going to do is really fast. Alright, well not super fast, but just a quick dunk and you're going to go all the way to where it just goes over the edge of the, uh, the cotton roll. All right, so you're getting the whole thing. All right, and when you bring it up, try to give it a little spin real quick. I was too busy trying to show you, and I ended up with a little, you see a little drop on the side there. We want to avoid that. So we're just going to smush it down while it's still warm. The rest of the coats will take care of it. All right, now, once again, we're going to take our thumb or our finger and behind it and just slide it off then we're gonna go real quick to the other one give it a little twist off all right give it a dunk give it a little spin bring it up and set her down now try not to dunk it too far up the stick because it will collect beeswax all right, and then what can happen is you can end up pulling the whole end of it off, and you don't want to do that, all right? So now that you've gone through and done all of them, and they're all dipped, you're going to put it back in the freezer for about 10 minutes tops, all right? Um, no less than five minutes, but I'd, I'd go 10 minutes, all right? And that's just to get things cold again, because you want to get the, the right thickness and consistency over the uh, over the fire tender, like I said, to get that that good long burn and to protect it right. So I'm gonna pause you guys and pop this in the freezer and be right back. All right, guys. Now that they've been in the freezer for about 10 minutes, we're just gonna repeat what we did last time. And you're really gonna notice a difference this time, um, especially in the color after they have uh, been in the freezer for uh, the next round they're they're really going to start getting that yellow color that is if you got the the more yellow beeswax you can get stuff that's a little more on the white side i i don't know how they do it but uh i do know that they have stuff that's a little cleaner my guess is, is they, they run the vitamins and minerals out of it that's in there. Um, so, you do that. Slide them off. Alright, I'm going to put it back in the freezer and be back with you in about another 10 minutes. Alright guys, now that it's been about 10 minutes, so we're going to repeat this process again and Put it in the little hole and dip it real fast and bring it out and give her a little spin. Alright, do that again real fast. Push her off. And be back in another 10 minutes. Alright guys, so now that's been about another 10 minutes. This time we're going to ditch the stick. <clears throat> Alright, so where it's ended up with the, the little hole. Alright, where you were putting it in. Kind of just push that down just a little bit. You don't have to get it super down there, but just pushed in a little bit. Alright. And then grab as little of it as you possibly can. Now at this point you might want to 
put some uh, surgical gloves, latex gloves, uh, the finger covers on your finger, but you don't have to. Um, just if you're su super sensitive to the heat, do that. So we're just going to dip down to our fingers, just to the tip, and then we're going to bring it back up over that hole. All right. And what this is doing is sealing it up so that no matter what, no water can get down in this thing and cause it to have uh, issues starting later on down the road due to moisture getting inside of it. I mean, you can fall out of a river raft, make it to shore, and if you've got a ferrocerium rod, have a fire going in a matter of minutes. So push that end in, do it again, just dip it down in the wax real fast to your fingertips. And that seals it all up. And now at this point we're gonna put it back in the freezer for another 10 minutes. And I'm gonna do that real fast, but why it's in the freezer this time we're going to walk you through other stuff. So at that point, the fire tender is done. The only reason we're putting it back in the freezer, and you don't have to, but... I do just to firm it up real good so that when I'm doing this step they just want to handle better they don't they they don't want to smush they don't want to uh, you know due to it getting a little warm but you're going to take your tin foil all right and you're going to make a large strip about four inches all right just to give you a comparison to my hand I, I guess that's a bad comparison to, uh, here's a a sharpie to give you an idea of you know about about how big we're going it's about four inches all right <clears throat> and then once you get it that way you can make stacks of these strips like this depending on how many you're making at once and then come back with your scissors and just cut it by another about four inches so you end up with a nice square like this okay all right i'm just gonna cut a second one off real fast since i got two all right so don't skip this part guys um since this is all made out of fuels, uh, like petroleum, jelly, beeswax, it is going to liquefy and it's going to want to run, okay? It's still going to work, but if you want that long burn time to hopefully help you dry out some, some twigs or, or grass that's a little damp and, and doesn't want to start with just like a lighter or a match or something like that, the, the tin foil is very important. So this is this is where it it gets fun and you're gonna wanna uh, sit down to a movie and do this or you know something mindless like that where you can zone out on this next step. So hold on one second. So, you could have left them in the freezer as long as you want. The longer they leave in there, the, the harder they get and the easier they are to work with. But, so you're going to take the tin foil, all right, and don't do a fancy roll. Because um, when you go to unroll it and, and not puncture your, your heavy duty tin foil, your extra strength or whatever, but... Uh, to keep from puncturing it when you roll it, you're not going to want to do that fancy fold where you do a little 
roll and then fold it over and continue rolling. Just go ahead and roll it up all the way to the end. Find the crease, all right, you know, or not the crease, but where the tin foil ends, and then just fold back over that, all right. And uh, there you have it. See how it's just folded back over that crease, and, and that's what it is. All right, so I'll show you again real fast. We're just gonna roll it really good. And this is what I mean by the harder it is, the easier it is, because it's not gonna wanna smush and it's wanna keep that round shape and roll real easy. All right, and then just fold it back over the crease. All right. And then just, you know, squish it down, give it a little shape, make sure there's no sharp edges, like that one's a little pointy, just fold it back a little bit. Um, and then once you have it at that point, bag it and tag it. Uh, just in case you didn't watch the first video, I'll, I'll show you real fast, but you just unroll it back. Do this as careful as possible so that you don't rip the tin foil. Roll it out. Now don't do this part on the tin foil, which is, uh, you're gonna wanna slice the end of it. Just like this, just, just at the end of it, okay? And uh, the reason you don't wanna do it on tin foil is we don't wanna put a, a hole in it. Right. And then you just peel her back real fast. All right, and that's the great thing about beeswax. It's not going to want to um, break or anything like that. It's actually going to want to bend back and stay intact. And then uh, just fluff the tender out. Now, Guys, when you're making this, do not skip the petroleum jelly and go straight to the, the beeswax. And, and the reason I say this is because you won't be able to get to the cotton because the beeswax will be too hard. And you just, it, it's really important to use the petroleum jelly on the inside. So you just fluff it out. All right, you'll, you'll regret it if you don't. All right, and like I said, the more petroleum jelly, the longer it's going to burn. So the longer you can leave it soaking in that petroleum jelly, the better it's going to be. All right. And uh, make a, a little cup out of it, like, so it, it the wax does not want to uh, tip out. It'll want to pool right below the burning spot. Ooh, wrong side. One more try. There we go. And in a nutshell, that's the Extreme Fire Starter. Um, or, excuse me, Extreme Fire Tender. Uh, like I said, if you did it right, those things should burn between 10 and 15 minutes, averaging about, well, most of them will run at about 12 minutes. Uh, guys, if you have any questions or anything you want to add, leave them in the, the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you need to... Contact me for a question that you might not want to share um, in public. You can reach me at uh, Penny Pinching Prepper seventy seven at gmail dot com. And uh, if you liked the video, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that a lot. And remember, God's good and God bless.